Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh no. That voice was so laid black and gleeful. It seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. If an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice, the moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised. Oh no. Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. Oh no. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Dude, is uh, is Usami gonna be like fucking MVP playing for the like the the team? She's gonna be like one of us trying to take down Monokuma. Holy fuck. <laughs> Dude, look at this voice. She knows him. Dude, is, are they exes? If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Very oh, shit. Strange. There she goes. There she goes. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. I didn't get to enjoy my beach episode. Hey. Akane. But what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. You'll, I'll head over first till he's the last arri to arrive. Oh, shit, what the hell is going on? It'll really piss me off if something, if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right. Uh, you're not going? Aww. Boo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. Hi. Fine, I'll step on them later. Uh, you crabs better run while you still can, yeah. Get out. Get out while you can, crabs. Mr. Krabs? Wait, that's copyright. You can't kill. We arrived at Jabberwock Park. Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Point in 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 Huh? Hey, hey. Where are you? Show yourself. <laughs> Shit. Here I thought I could just enjoy my life with my new favorite set of students without killing any of them and being sad. Well then. Why, hello there. Thank you all for waiting. Long time no see, guys. What do you mean, long time no see? This is the first for me? Are you, are you breaking the fourth wall here, Monokuma? Or is it a long time no see for the students? I am Monokuma. Specific words. Specific phrasing. Very specific for phrasing. Monokuma appears! I've got to keep voice acting more. My bad, I thought I would voice act more, so I took a bite of my pop tart. <laughs> anyway, now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... This is so friggin' lame. Lame, I say. Lamer than the lamest lame sauce. Oh wait, lame sauce? Is that tasty? Just as I thought, it was you! But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Ah, uh, shut up. Hey, um... I'm livid, you know, and I'm about to ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what's with this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey. This ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right what now. You You've got to make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What? What's going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. Oh, use your magic and take your magic staff. Change him. I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic staff stick. Yeah! yeah! Opening! Of course. 
Of course. Stop. Wait, why is there underwear flying out from this cloud bubble? Monokuma? The stick! No! My magic stick! <laughs> now then, what to do after my flawless victory? Here comes the swordsman, just whatcha! Does one of those like super anime anime style like sword slashes, cuts him in half. That's what she should do right now. All, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So I'm gonna make you in my image. No! <laughs> No, I like Usami. This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya. I'll bite ya. I'll rip you apart. <sighs> Stop it! Hey, hold still. This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? No! That's a no-no! That's a big no-no! I don't like I don't like this uh this dialogue. <laughs> it seems suggestive. <laughs> You just put a diaper on her? What is that? Also, you made her uh, white and pink. What? What is this? No! I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. Why are you in a diaper? That's like the weirdest thing about that. My, my. Defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Monokuma a little troublemaker? Big brother? Hey. Big brother? Monomi? They're related? My little sister. Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm setting you to be my little sister. Oh, no, no, no. He made it up. Monomi? <laughs> Though, it's only an external setting after all. Why do I have to be your little sister? Aww. Big sister, then. You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? Like this. Hmm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're more definitely like a little oh, sister. So that's how it's gonna be, Monomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Ooh. How even the display changed to Monomi? I won't forgive you. The display. They're still being controlled? They're both being controlled, I guess. So the display setting got hacked. Weird. Weird that someone's behind Monomi. Oh, God. Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? Yes. Yes. No! It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. <laughs> also, you're supposed to be dead. Junko is dead. But granted... Byakuya is here and fat and doesn't recognize you. Questionable as well. Questionable what reality we live in and time frame. Uh, if only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on the battlefield. Hey, hey. hey what's with this stupid performance? Huh? Who freaking knows? Mm. But it's obvious something bad happened. Huh? What? What is this? What is going on? The sob. Huh? huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking. She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. The? There's more of them? What, did you say? what does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? That's bear. a raccoon. I'm not a tanuki. I'm a bear. I'm Monokuma. What's going on? I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal. I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, this killing school trip will now commence. Fuck! I was hoping it would be no killing killing game, you know? Ah oh, shit, killing school trip? <laughs> A school trip where everyone gets along and has no stimulation whatsoever. And it's so damn boring. 
Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, hey. You guys agree with me, right? Uh. Thank you for waiting. So let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. Right? Killing contestants? I won't forgive you. What are you saying? I will absolutely, positively, not surely, not allow such bloody events. This is assault. Ow! It hurts a lot when you kick me, too. This is assault. You can fight back, Monami. Monami's such a dumb child. Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monami. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> Allow Jesus. me to explain. Now then, we got off topic for a little while, so let's get back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> I imagine it's the same rules. What do you mean, killing school trip? Isn't it obvious you guys are going to kill each other? Well... Kill each other? I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other? No way, no way, no way. What are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along. So I'm changing the yeah. rules. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. <gasps> class trial? That's right. That's right. The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain. If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be one, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote. And if you arrive to the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. Yeah, yeah, same rules. However, if you choose poorly, then everyone, the only one who got away with it, will be fine while everyone gets freed. Yo, Mint Metal, they even follow. I appreciate it, dude. As far as the class trial rules go, there are well, all... That's all there is to it. In other words... Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. It's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Basically, it's an execution. Oh. Execution? that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. I don't know who would make it out. Honestly, I'm not keen that Byakuya will make it to the end this time. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. Also, I mind you, 16 of us are here. There are 16 students. There's no hidden student anymore. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thingamajig claw. Thingamajig claw. Hmm. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones come like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Ching. Cursing? He cursed someone to death? Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit. You can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely pop -tastic. That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. I clutched my pearls. Each one, with each beat of the heart, a sharp stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Don't fuck with me. That's right. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Anyway. Anyway, I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute. Why do we, we, you, uh, why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, isn't it obvious? There's a reason you all need to kill each other. The entertainment of the world. Hold on. Hold on. You've been running your mouth shut for 
mouth for quite some time. I, have no idea. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it. I like this image. She's kind of like Junko. What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Oh, wait a second. She's feisty. Let's go. Who would dare to try and kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. Holy fuck, the squad's rolling up. They're all ready to beat the shit out of Monokuma. Why you? If you keep saying that stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Is that so? Then I guess I expected I guess I expected this reaction. <laughs> if you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my hey. own. Force? What are you gonna do? Surge, O oh gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Yo, where's Gundam? Where's Gundam before he fucking calls in, counterspells Monokuma, and shows him who, how, who a real fucking uh, Chunibio is? Come forth, mana beasts! Where is Gundam, anyway? Holy fuck! Holy shit. These are Gundams. These are literally Gundams. Is Gundam behind all of this? I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right now in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? Why did the statues move? Wrong. That's no statue. They're Mono Beasts. Monster! Hey. Yo, uh, Gundam has been quiet. I just say they're mono beasts. I mean, he's standing right there. There's strange things about genuine surprise. If that's when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. Ah, uh, the sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games, and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of this situation. Yo, I'm telling you, the swordsman can still fucking swipe him out. I couldn't feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No. This can't be. It's just too weird. Don't tell me. Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says. He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch. You guys sure are skeptical, Bunch. If something doesn't fit with your narrow notions of common sense, you, you just deny it outright. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than all of you. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone, everyone, please stay back. I will protect I everyone. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Hey, I like... What was her name? Asumi? Herc. What's this? Blurg? Ugh. Ah, uh, I know. This is Naja. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Let's go. Alrighty it's then. It's decided. You'll be my example to every- Oh, shit. Oh, okay, she's going bye-bye. No! I liked her! No! Mona me! I liked her. She was- uh, She was hope. Yo, fight back! Oh, he shot the stuffing out of her. Ow! What was that? You bitch! He shot the stuffing out of her. Dude, he fucking nicked me. Huh? What? <laughs> How do I know she's really dead, though? I thought she was a computer as well. What? <laughs> What is that? Blah, 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 blah. Holy fuck, she's foaming at the mouth. She's gone rabid. Uh, it's only the first stage and Monomi is already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future. <laughs> Mono beasts. And these are animals as well. Why is there so much connections to Gundam? Gundam is like the beast tamer. And these are Mono beasts. And they're animals. They're not only Gundams, but they're animals. He's sus. Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. 
The sudden appearance of a monster, even though a life-threatening monster appeared. Not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before and no idea and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality of was very lethal at this particular moment. Phew, that's right. This is what I wanted. This feeling of despair, given an example of what was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen, as though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well, now. now then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Guys, I witnessed a murder. Let's vote Monokuma as the killer. So you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. You are being controlled. You're an AI. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. In addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. The rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then. <laughs> Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. School life. Can I... What does... I'm wondering where my pet comes into play. Uh, after he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. What if me caring for my pet? It could revive Mono me. Because uh, my pet's a rabbit and she's a rabbit. I should take care of my pet. The truth is, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was, uh, the aftermath. Wow. Good to see I'm torn up about the whole thing. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... What just happened? Um. Um. I won't believe. I, I won't just believe. won't believe it. That's all there is to it. <sighs> I'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> what the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. It's not like, well, if it's not, wait, whoops, whoops. What was the transcript back? It's not really impossible. The, well, it's not really impossible. Those mono beasts or whatever they're called are machines. Thus Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone has made them and is controlling them. Then who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me. Hey, who is it? Who? Aha, uh, <laughs> uh -huh. it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. Anyway. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh. You can eat first? I'm not gonna lie. Chiaki is kinda sus. She is the ultimate gamer. And it does kind of feel like we're in a video game. So that's sus. Gundam is sus. But Chiaki is also sus. Listen. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but on the Togami, let me, let me predict this. On the Togami name, I will find out. Or something like that. We don't need to be cautious of those machines or even whoever is controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of each Ourselves. other. Whoa, look at us. Look at Akane. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. I will protect Akane with my life. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we had also, we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Who do I think is gonna die first? Let me think about this. I think, 
I think the lucky student's gonna die first, if I'm being honest. Which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even if I'm no different, so how can I truly be confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. Who will kill him? Uh, let me think about that. Well, there's the sadist girl. She's on the chopping block. I don't know. We don't have a motive. That's the thing. I don't think we can really gauge a motive for any of the killers. You can only presume who's going to get killed. Like, I never would have presumed Mondo would have chill killed Chihiro. I never would have presumed... I could have presumed Celeste killed Hifumi. I, I, I could have... Like, you know, it's like... You can sort of predict who might die. But then, like, attaching a person to it without the motive, that's hard. So none of them really have a motive. But I feel like the lucky student's gonna die because he represented us in the first game. So thus, they're just gonna kill him in this game immediately. Because we made it to the end of the other game. That day became a day like any, unlike any other. A day which held more significant meaning. It was a special day. A very meaningful day of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Intro? Are there spoilers? Should I skip this? It happened in the first game, but I skipped it on accident. There's the world. There was the burning world. Youth. Don't skip. Dang and Rampa. It's spoiler free. That's a spoiler. He killed her. He killed Monomi. Hajime. Me. The ultimate despair, probably. Video game? Oh, Jockey. Princess? Sonya, the princess? Akane? My waifu? Hiyoko? Sus? Gundam? Soda? Kozumi? Teru Teru? Oh, he's fucking casting a literal uh, uh, see a demon circle. What was that? Holy shit. Dude, I'm running. Mikon? Mikon is thick. Mikon is probably the thickest. Holy fuck, Biakia's face. Mikon is literally the thickest out of all the girls. And she's a nurse. Holy shit. Goodbye, despair. Surely that means no despair. Welcome to Dang and Island. Panic at the heart throbbing school trip. Prologue. And I like Mekon. I like Mekon. I like Mekon in bathing suit mode. What was that accent? I mean, it was probably Japanese, but like a Japanese saying Dang and Rampa. I got a broken stick. Oh, shows broken wand. We can fix that. We can fix that. We can fix that. Would I like to save? Absolutely, game. Wait. Wait. Save. I need to save again. System. Save. I always save twice. Chapter one. Guys, you know what that means. The prologue is finished. The prologue was like three hours. Holy God. The prologue, three hours. And I think we're going to have to hold off. Till next time.